In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on September 15, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Chicago Cubs vs. Arizona Diamondbacks The Chicago Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks meet Friday in MLB action from Chase Field. The Cubs are fresh off a series against the Rockies, losing two of three games. As for Arizona, they played the Mets in their last series. The Diamondbacks lost two of the first three in that set. Then on Thursday, Arizona fell in a blowout. Steele has been close to unhittable recently, generating a 0.43 earned run average in his previous three starts. He has been very effective away from his home stadium this year, picking up the win in 4 of 10 starts and compiling a 3 earned run average with a 1.1 WH at P. His control has been excellent on the road, issuing less than 2 walks per 9 innings on average. Chicago won 2 of 3 games the last time they visited Arizona. The Cubs have split or won 3 of their previous 4 series on the road. The Diamondbacks have lost 3 of Fott's previous 4 starts. He has been terrible at home in 2023, producing a 1-4 record with a 7.3 earned run average and 1.72 WHIP over 9 starts. He has also allowed an average of over 12 hits per 9 innings, so look for the Cubs to have ample scoring opportunities throughout the game. The Cubs have won over 50% of their games on the road this season and have won 60% of their road games in the last month. The Arizona pitching staff has recently struggled at Chase Field, losing more than 50% of their games and producing a 5 earned run average average in their previous five games. Arizona has lost three of their last four games. Chicago should be in good hands with Steele on the mound. He's doing very well lately. Over his last three starts combined, Steele is 2-0 with 21 innings, one earned run, 14 hits, and three walks during that time. Chicago has given up 17 runs over their last three games, and Steele should help keep the scoreboard manageable. As for the Diamondbacks, on Thursday they couldn't get much right at the plate and a couple of pitchers finished with ugly stat lines. That makes two or fewer runs in four of the last seven games for Arizona, and I don't see them scoring much on Friday either. The trend strongly suggests the Cubs will emerge victorious on the road Friday, so the Chicago Cubs' money line is our full game side pick. All four of the games played between these two teams in Chicago last week went under the run total. A total of only 29 runs were scored during the four-game set. Each team was held to three runs or less in three of the four games. A trend may be forming, as all three of the games played last season between these two squads in Arizona went under the run total as well. Steele has been in the zone as of late, producing a microscopic 0.43 earned run average in his last three starts. He has also been effective on the road this season, compiling a three earned run average over 14 starts. He has dominated the Diamondbacks over the past two seasons, compiling a one earned run average with a 0.78 WHIP over three starts. The Cubs have gone under the run total in each of Steele's previous three starts overall. Arizona has gone under the run total in each of Fott's previous three starts and they have gone under in two of their last three games at home. Chicago has gone under the run total in eight straight games, including three straight on the road. Most signs point to a lower scoring affair between these two teams on Friday. On under the projected total is our full game total pick. San Diego Padres vs. Oakland Athletics The San Diego Padres and Oakland Athletics clash Friday in Game 1 of an MLB series at Oakland Coliseum. The Padres should be favorites for obvious reasons as they're far and away the better, more talented team, but they've also underachieved this season, and it's why they're six and a half games out of a wild card spot. The Athletics are a club we've faded all year, but they've been able to claw out wins here and there lately and are providing some value as big underdogs lately. Also, Sean Newcomb has been great through 12 innings this season, and he's had previous success against the Padres. We're getting almost two times our money with the home team. I'll take a shot in the dark. So the Oakland Athletics' money line is our full game side pick.
Seth Lugo can only pitch better than he did last Saturday, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the A's scoring a few runs off him. On the other side, I'm expecting the Padres to ruin Sean Newcomb's shiny earned run average. The over is 9-3 in Oakland's last 12 games at home, and it is 5-1 in San Diego's last six games overall. Also, the total has gone over in five of the previous six encounters between the Padres and Athletics. The wind is blowing out in Oakland Coliseum, which should help make this a high-scoring affair. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. Seattle Mariners The Los Angeles Dodgers take on the Seattle Mariners on Friday evening in the first game of the series at T-Mobile Park. The Dodgers will send 24-year-old RHP Bobby Miller to the mound, who will be making his 19th start of the season. Seattle will counter with 25-year-old righty George Kirby, who will be making his 28th start of the season. The Dodgers won three of the four games played against the Mariners during their last meetings in 2021. Gilbert has pitched well at home all season but has turned it up a notch in August and September. He has produced a 2.33 earned run average with a 0.7 WHIP in his previous four starts at T-Mobile. The Mariners have won the past six of Gilbert's seven starts at home. Miller is winless over his past three starts on the road and the Dodgers have lost two of three of those games. The Los Angeles pitching staff has struggled at times on the road recently, producing an earned run average of just over five in their previous six games. The Mariners have won five of their previous six series at home, including a three-game sweep of the Kansas City Royals at the end of August. The Mariners have an elite pitching staff in 2023, ranking second overall in earned run average at home with 3.69. They also have excelled at home recently, compiling a 2.49 earned run average with a 0.96 WHIP in their last five games. Miller has struggled on the road recently, going winless and producing a 4.19 earned run average in his previous three starts. The Dodgers have a solid lineup, but it kind of feels like they're just coasting to the finish line with the division well in hand. George Kirby's pitched a lot better at home this season and the Mariners can ill afford to slip up even against one of the better teams in all of baseball. I believe Seattle's competitive enough here, and the stats support a Seattle victory at home in the first game of the series on Friday with Gilbert on the mound. So the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full game side pick. The Dodgers have gone over the run total in four of Miller's previous five starts. The Los Angeles pitching staff ranks near the bottom of the league in team earned run average. The Mariners currently rank 10th in the majors in average runs scored per game and ISO, so they are capable of scoring quickly in bunches against Dodgers pitching. The Mariners have gone over the run total in four of Gilbert's previous five starts. The Mariners have produced a .454 slugging percentage in their previous seven games at T-Mobile and they have averaged two home runs per game during that stretch. The Dodgers have hit a healthy .302 and they have smacked eight homers and ten doubles in their last five games on the road. The Mariners have pushed or gone over the run total in five of their previous six games and they have gone over in five of Gilbert's previous six starts. Most signs point to a higher scoring affair when these two squads meet in Seattle on Monday evening. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.